Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we're gonna be trying to make a abstract landscape. Now, I'm not uh, an abstract lands, eh, I don't even know how to talk. I don't normally make abstract landscapes, okay? It's not my specialty, it's not really my forte. So I actually don't make a lot of these, surprisingly. So today we're, I figured we would try. We would try to make uh, just a simple abstract landscape uh, that hopefully anyone could make at home or something like that. So uh, without further ado, let's kind of get into it. So I've got a small canvas here. Um, I've got a couple of foam brushes, which is what we'll be using for the background. I've got a uh, palette knife and I actually couldn't find my other one, so I had to buy a new one. Um, and then we've got our colors here. So we've got a uh, the primary blue, which is like a normal blue. We got cerulean, which is a light blue. And then we kind of have these uh, darker or, well, dark browns, light browns. And this is only in case I run out. Uh, and a red. So we're gonna kind of put these colors together uh, on the ground. So the ground will kind of be like a, a reddish, orangish, brown, that kind of a mixture of those colors. And then uh, we've got our white here. The white we're gonna do as kind of clouds. So we're gonna do a little bit of the dark brown in the bottom. We're also gonna kind of do uh, some scraping with that as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So I'm thinking that we'll do kind of maybe a half and half kind of thing. Uh, where you know it's the half blue half brown uh, so I'll, I'm actually just gonna uh, draw a thin line here of kind of the divider so we'll do our our top and then our bottom all right so let's go ahead and start with the uh, top we're just gonna put a little bit of paint we don't need a whole lot we'll just put a couple of dots of paint here and we're gonna do a little bit of light blue right there right there right there and right there and then I am going to add a couple of dots of white in here just to kind of lighten up some of these uh, colors. So let's put one right there and then right there. Okay, so now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and start uh, smoothing these colors out. So we're going to just make a really light uh, background here. And it looks like we might even kind of get some some clouds in there without even scraping them. We'll pull these colors down to our little divider line here. And we'll mix some of these other paints in there. Pick up some of the colors. And we really just need it to go to the edge here. Okay, so we actually have some uh, some really nice coverage here. I'm actually surprised. Um, I didn't even mean to have this kind of white streak here. I wonder if we can put just a little bit more, uh, just a little bit more white in there and kind of mix it in. And then maybe a little bit more darker uh, blue at the top. Just, just a little bit to kind of lighten it up. So let's see if we can kind of pull this white out here. Perfect. All right, so then we'll kind of blend that dark blue in there. All right, well, I mean, that's a, that's a decent start. I'm, I'm actually not too disappointed with that. And kind of run it down and bring it to the edge here. Just kind of paint our edges. And good, that's pretty good. Perfect. Well, that's actually a decent start. I'm, I'm actually really happy with that. Okay, so now that we've got our bottom layer or the top layer kind of going, we're gonna leave that for now, let that dry a little bit, and then we're gonna move on to our bottom. So it's mostly going to be this lighter brown. Um, I'm gonna kind of use some of this up, this Simply Acrylic uh, Daler and Rowney. Actually, somebody told me that this brand, Daler and Rowney, uh, is big in, I think the UK, I believe is what they said. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I didn't know that, but we're going to put a little bit of that in here. Just kind of spread it out here and we're going to set that aside. This will kind of be our backup here. And then we're going to do a little bit of, uh, dark brown to kind of, we kind of want it dark, but just a little bit dark. I think I kind of wanted more of the light brown. 
kind of to represent the, you know, the earth, like a red soil or something. And then we're gonna do just a little bit of the red to kind of give it a little bit of like pop in the color. And there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of pull this out. Again, I, I want mostly this, this uh, lighter brown, so maybe I'll just put just a little bit more in there. And we'll kind of see where that gets us. So we'll, again, we'll just kind of start pulling these colors out. Making sure that we kind of cover the edges here. and pull out the rest of this paint here. We'll see if we can kind of get it to the edge, but not, uh, not too much. So uh, I'm gonna put a little bit more of the dark brown, kind of got this red in here, and we'll kind of blend that in. But it's, it's a little bit low on paint. So I'm just gonna add just a little bit of that and just a little bit of the light brown. And we'll see if we can kind of pull these out here and kind of meet meet this uh the sky now i actually plan on doing some kind of mountain oh no there's paint in there okay let's see if we can okay not too bad i i can actually kind of go over that so it's not not too bad all right let's see if we can kind of uh blend this in here Maybe meet up with the top. Okay, you know, <laughs> not uh, not disappointed actually. Not my typical style of painting, but um, kind of cool. I'm a big fan of, of the desert. I live in Arizona, mostly desert, so I'm a big fan of the desert. So kind of seeing that uh, actually kind of excites me. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're actually going to kind of make some mountains here. And I'm gonna use this little tool for the mountains. Um, this actually looks like the type of tool that Bob Ross would use when he makes his mountains. So it's, it's gonna be abstract. We're not gonna put a whole lot of detail in them, but to just kind of give it some pop, we're gonna go ahead and do that. I don't know who that is. Okay, so we'll go ahead and what we're gonna do now, now that we have our background, is we're gonna go ahead and give it some detail. So we're gonna do a little bit of a kind of a scrape here and see if we can kind of pull this out and make like an abstract cloud on top of what we've got here. So we'll pull this out. All right. Let's see if we can kind of pull that out. Maybe give it just a little bit of uh, definition, kind of at the bottom. Like just kind of pull that out, and then also maybe just kind of give it some definition at the top. And maybe just pull that out a little bit. Maybe I have to go down with it. Pulling a little bit of the blue just because I, I think I just scraped it like a bad angle. So I'm just kind of pull that up and pull that out. Okay, that's that's actually kind of cool. All right, so this one doesn't quite look like a this one doesn't quite look like a, a cloud. Let's see if we can see if we can change that here. Maybe we'll pull it out this way, I don't know. Uh, there we go, okay.
Okay. We got a little bit of we got a little bit of cloud action. Maybe we can just put like a little just a nice little cloud over here. Just a little little guy, maybe. Actually, let's let's wipe this off. I keep pulling this blue in here. It's not my intention. Then we can just get a get a little bit on there and maybe just kind of pull it out. <laughs> just it just wants to be in there, I guess. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I uh, I like that. I'll pull that out right there. Oh no, it's more blue. <laughs> I just can't win. I can't win. Okay, let's just do that. Okay, there we go. Now we got it. We got some some clad action going here. Okay, cool. There we go. All right, not too bad. All right, so we're gonna put that in the water to let that soak. And we're gonna try to make some some mountains here. We're gonna be using this dark brown. So let's see, let's see if we can pull that off. Uh, I don't know. We'll it'll be kind of a gamble here. But let's see if we can kind of just you know do some do some mountains here. Let's pull them straight down. <clears throat> I guess it, it probably looks a little weird that the mountains are kind of floating here. I didn't really uh, I didn't really think about that too much. Well, going with what we got here, so we'll just kind of pull that out and let's see if I can. I have no idea what I'm doing. I guess, why would the mountains kind of be, you know, in the middle of nowhere, you know? <laughs> why, would, why would they be, why would they be kind of just floating in the middle of, of the desert? Uh, I guess I don't, I can't answer that, right? So. I think the mountains were a little, little much. I think they were a little much, but you know what? I've already got them on there. We're just gonna see, gonna see what we can do with it. So let's uh, let's make one right there, and then we'll pull some of this. We'll make one right there, right? And just kind of maybe just kind of fill that in. Maybe we'll just kind of like pull it straight down. Oh, I got a little bit of, got some right there. You know what? We're just gonna go with it. I think, I think maybe we can pull this off. I don't know how, and probably not, but we're gonna, we're gonna try anyway. So let's see, mountain would probably be, you know, really kind of pointed like that, right? So that's, that's kind of how the mountain would be. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to fill that in. We're just really gonna go thick on, on the paint here. And so let's go like this, and we'll try to make this kind of connect here. Come on, there we go. Okay, you know what? We're going all in. We, we already got the mountains here. Let's see, let's see what we can do with it. So maybe, maybe these mountains kind of, you know, just, just kind of taper off, right? So maybe they just kind of scrape away? I, I don't know. Why not? There are mountains. So we're gonna just kinda pull that out, pull that out, pull that out. I mean, the mountains have to end somewhere, right? So why not? All right, so maybe we can put a little bit more on there and really just kinda fade these mountains out. You know what I mean? I took it away. The mountain is, uh, you can see through the mountain, it's transparent, apparently. 
No, cover it up. Okay. You know what? It's not ideal. It's not perfect, but it's mine, okay? Uh, but it does look a little weird that there's just kind of mountains there and nowhere else. So maybe we can fix this with like another set of mountains down here. You know what? I don't think it can get any worse per se. So we're just gonna do it. We're gonna try to make uh, one more kind of mountain, uh, like a mountain pass here. So we're just gonna do like a, a really steep mountain, right? So like that. And then we'll just kind of kind of taper it off. So we're just gonna like that and like that. And another one maybe behind it. And that one kind of goes off. Oh, maybe they just need like a flat bottom, right? So maybe we can maybe we can just kind of taper that off and do like a, a flat, you know, just kind of uh, bring it to a, a flat bottom here. Yeah, maybe we just kind of do that number. I mean, I don't, uh, I'm not a rock, I'm not a, a mountain expert, so I don't know 100%, right? This looks like it's kind of floating here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how the mountains are supposed to go. You know what? Let's do this. Let's kind of keep it consistent here and let's just kind of fade it down. And, uh, you know, we'll just kind of make it look like it's, it's kind of jagged, right? Like those mountains are kind of ending um, naturally. Okay, I mean, yeah, I, I can kind of see that. All right, you know what? We're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do one last mountain range here and we're gonna make it a big one. We're gonna make it, you know, tall all the way down, kind of in this corner over here. Cause, cause I, you know what? These mountains are kind of lonely over here. So we just kind of, we don't want them to be that way. So we're gonna pull this bad boy down and then we're gonna kind of, you know, do one of these and put one of those. You know, we're just going to kind of make this one like a massive mountain right there, right? So we'll kind of sharpen that edge right there, bring it down, kind of cover up the edge right there. And we'll, we'll just put like another little mountain, mountain range right there, right? Ooh, I kind of like that. There we go. Okay. So maybe we just kind of do that and do like a kind of an end there. And you know what? It's not pointy enough. We gotta kind of point it out. There we go. And it's kind of going off the edge here, so kind of fill that in. Okay. You know what? I'm not. I'm not 100% disappointed with this. And we just kind of smooth those out and make it scraped. You know what? I've made worse paintings, let's just put it that way. And maybe, uh, you know, there's, it's kind of like, there's not a lot going on on the bottom, so I guess that's kind of the best we could do. Maybe we'll just bring this mountain all the way down to the bottom, because forget it, you know? We're, that's what we're here to do. We're kind of, we're just, this is a, it's a large mountain range. So we're gonna, you know, put one more, and that'll be kind of the, uh, the bottom there. So we're just gonna bring this down you know what, this is just kind of like these mountains out in the desert that are just kind of sitting there. And they just kind of come out of nowhere and, you know, they just go off the painting. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna call it there. Um, you know, it's not terrible. Uh, it's probably not my best, right? But I think for a landscape, it's kind of cool. I, I really do like the top part. So, you know, the, the top with, uh, you know, with the clouds and kind of the minimalist uh, sky, I actually do like. The mountains not so much, I'm not a mountain expert, so probably could use some improvement. Um, but ultimately, you know what? I, I don't hate it. It's again, it's not my worst painting and it's kind of fun to do this. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll do another uh, type of painting in the future, uh, another la abstract landscape. We'll see. Well, you know, let me know in the comments if you kind of like this and you want to 
you want to see me attempt more of them again not an expert but we can definitely try if that's what you guys want to see but I don't know, overall uh, not too bad I'd say maybe five out of ten six out of ten somewhere in there I do like the top half <laughs> not hundred percent on the bottom but you do what you can so anyways guys I just wanted to show you this and kind of learn as we go and maybe we learn some together kind of figure it out as we go well I think we'll get better we'll try more so anyways guys that's it for the video I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one take care guys bye okay if you're watching this it's because I figured something out so I tried something after I had already recorded, I kind of figured something out with the mounts that kind of works. So what I was doing is taking it down to like where I would have the mountain range and just kind of scraping it all the way down. So just kind of going like up here where the mountain is and then just pulling it down as far as it would go to kind of create, um, you know, the, the mountain here. And it actually looks pretty cool. So. I have a lot of like paint here, so you probably can't see that here. Um, but doing that gives it kind of a cool effect and it takes all the paint away from there. So that's, you know, great. Um, but it, it actually makes it look kind of like, like it's fading. So maybe this is the, uh, the technique that we need to try next time when we make this painting is, is taking it and then just taking that paint and kind of carrying it all the way down as far as it'll go so that it, it kind of fades into uh, that next thing. So I just kind of wanted to share that with you because it actually looks a lot better and it looks more dynamic and it, it kind of looks more like mountains actually. I'm, I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. So the reason I'm sharing this with you is because I figured it out in this video, so I wanted to show it to you in this video. So if you look at the mountain now, it actually doesn't look like crap like it did before. It actually looks like it kind of fades into it. It kind of actually resembles something like mountains. Maybe not so much over here because there's a lot going on, but this one for sure actually looks like a mountain range. It's a lot of, you know, different layers and stuff that like, you know, the rocks and it's got the sharp edges like I was trying to achieve. And then it kind of dies off into, you know, the background so that actually probably would work for mountains is uh you know putting the scraper in one way and then just kind of pulling it all the way down until it fades so learn something today and i wanted to pass that along before i made another video so that you guys can see um that sometimes we do figure things out by testing and i wanted to pass that on to you okay that's the end of the video for sure bye guys